The Early Childhood Development Awards were created to recognize the efforts of those women who start ECD centers without any support from government or the private sector to afford their parents an opportunity to participate in the economy of the country. If you want to deal with a generational poverty, you need to start early in addressing it. We have done anything from infrastructure development where we have built actual ECD centers. We have been involved in a development and training of practitioners as well as people who run uh, the early childhood development centers themselves. We have lately also been involved in a program for food and nutrition security that are involved in early childhood development centers, particularly in poor areas and rural areas. For the first 10 years, the awards were run by APSA in partnership with ourselves. The Department of Social Development, of course, is the custodian of early childhood development in the country. The Department of Basic Education is involved in the National Cur Curriculum Framework for children zero to four. Department of Health involved in issues of nutrition for children, so that's how they would participate in the awards. The UNICEF is the, the international multilateral body that is looking after the interests of children in the world and of course the South African Congress for Early Childhood Development, which is an umbrella body for ECD organizations. We call for entries, we distribute forms. Our partners on the ground would be available on hand to assist them. There's a closing date, and then we start the process of adjudication of the awards. It starts at the local level, where those will then be uh, uh, coordinated through provincial offices. Number one way to open Melele with category Yama Best ECD Center. Is it to do so crash? We then have the provincial awards. We have six categories. Two are adjudicated and finalized at the provincial level, which are the ECD Center of the Year and the ECD Practitioner of the Year. And then at the national level, we then adjudicate the other four. The first one being the, the ECD Trainer of the Year. The second one being the ECD uh, Non-Center-Based Program of the Year. And then we have the ECD Publication of the Year. And then the ECD uh, Program for Children with Disabilities. ECD Program for Children with Disabilities Award in the rural category. We then have provincial award ceremonies which are, are championed by the, 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 the emissaries for social development who are patrons of, of, of the awards at the provincial level. Then the two categories then move into a national adjudication where we will then select the winners. Mainly the rewards or, that we derive is by just having a network of like-minded institutions, both government and civil society, as well as the UNICEF, to come together and share ideas around how early childhood development provisioning can be improved in the country. For example, for the best practitioner, there would be a monetary prize that goes to the winner, which then they must use part thereof for self-improvement in the area of early childhood development. For example, they would decide maybe to attend a course with part of the prize money, and then would monitor that they do attend the course. They are really treated like royalty in terms of even a basic thing like flying for the first time they go on shopping sprees, they get massages, and they also get to meet other winners from other provinces and exchange ideas. So through the awards, we believe that we will be able also to get in more partners who can come in and support, particularly from the private sector, which means there would also be more resources going into it. We are looking up to our big brother, the Teachers Awards, for example, which uh, sometimes are live on TV, the prizes there, it's uh, big prizes like cars and so on. From that level, we'd want to ensure that the ECD awards get the same kind of recognition.
feel for primary schools. We don't have anything like it in terms of the national awards, so we need to work hard, continue to work hard to improve how it's done, improve the, 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 the status and the caliber of the awards. And we do want to thank a uh, business that has been involved previously, notably APSA, which ran the awards for a solid 10 years until they handed over the awards to ourselves, but would want to continue to get more partners, particularly from business as we move forward.